Hello, I'm Jen from Cakey Lulu's and in this video I'm going to be showing you three different methods for how to disguise the sidebar from your Pop Options floating tear separator. Check out my previous videos where I showed you how to attach the separator to your cake and how to disguise the top and bottom plates. So let's get started. The first method I'm going to show you is by using a silk ribbon and it's a really simple but effective way to disguise the sidebar. So what I'm gonna do is take my silk ribbon and tie it around the top tier of my cake and I'm just going to tie it nice and securely in a bow. Now this method has the added bonus that it disguises the top plate of your separator as well. So once you've tied the bow, and you're happy with how it looks, just slide it around and position it level with the top of your sidebar. And then all I've done is I've attached a small glue dot to the bottom of the separator and getting my trailing ribbon, what I'm gonna do is just gently attach it to the glue dot and that disguises the sidebar with the ribbon and make sure that it won't move out of place once your cake is fully set up. The next method I'm going to show you is using an arrangement of flowers. So here I have another cake and I have an arrangement of sugar, roses and leaves which I've taped and wired together. All you have to do is line it up with your separator to see where you think it would look good. And then I've got these small clear cable ties and I'm gonna use those to secure it to the sidebar. So to make sure it's extra secure, I'm going to use one at the bottom of the sidebar and I'm going to make sure that it goes around the flowers and the bar and just pull it tight to secure it in place. And then taking another cable tie I'm just going to feed it through the top of my arrangement and around the sidebar, again, pulling it to tie it in place. And then all you need to do is take a pair of wire cutters and trim away the excess cable. And there you have a lovely floor arrangement completely disguising your sidebar. The final method I'm going to show you is using another arrangement of flowers, but this time I'm going to be using dried flowers. So I've got some lovely dried flowers here, which I've tied together in a bunch using another clear cable tie. And what I'm gonna do is line it up against my cake and decide whereabouts it would look good. And then what I have is a small 20 gauge wire which I've bent into a U shape and all I need to do is put that around my bunch and push it into the cake to secure it in place. Now I've used a dummy cake here and so it's absolutely fine to use that but if you're using a real cake you'll need to make the wire food safe either using a food safe wax or dipping it in melted chocolate. Alternatively there's this fantastic product which is called a cake pin and essentially it's a food safe acrylic hook which you hook around your flower arrangement and then it pins into your cake and holds your arrangement in place and so that's a great option for if you're using a real cake. So that's just three of my methods for disguising the sidebar of the floating tear separator. Of course there are lots of other ways you can do it depending on the style and design of your cake but I hope you found these ones useful. If you've used any of these methods, please do tag Cakey Lulu's and Prop Options in your posts. We'd love to see what you've created. And of course, if you've got any questions or comments, pop me a message and I'll get back to you. I hope you found this video series really useful and enjoyable, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.